In this question, two people push a vertical gate to open it. The forces exerted by the people on the gate are shown. So your gate, can you imagine it's like a going to do this, all right? It's going to open or maybe this way. Uh, but you have two forces at an angle. One person is a little bit closer, D1. So this is force number one pushing this way. And there's a second person, D2, a little bit further, also pushing by the different angle. What is the total moment about the hinge? So when you see moment, you should click in your head. Oh, there's an equation for moment, also known as torque, which I call it. Okay, this is a symbol for it. And that will be the force times distance. But not just any force times distance. Ah. You have to choose perpendicular force times distance. This is one example. Or the force times perpendicular distance. I'm going to go with this one ah, for this setup. And they give you a whole bunch of equations. Wow, how to do? Okay, we don't, we don't, don't, don't look at the equation and get scared. We go back to the diagram up there and do some drawing. So we need to go back here. Okay, okay. So how do we find the total moment? You see, both of these people are trying to push the door anti-clockwise, right? When they push, this door will move this way. That's why we want to open it. So, we need to resolve the first force. Let's see, I will need to make this... Hmm, this is not perpendicular, this is at the angle, right? So that's not good. We want a perpendicular force. So we have to resolve this F1. There's two ways to do it. You either resolve to this vertical component or this side which is also the same thing okay either way works and this angle here is also the same so you want to resolve uh, what is the perpendicular force this will be f1 then you think of opposite hypotenuse sine so f1 sine theta that's this uh, force that give you the component perpendicular to the rod, to the distance. Ah, yes, perpendicular to distance. We need to do the same thing for the other one also. So you can, once again, you can either resolve to this side or resolve to this side. But you need to know that the angle here is also theta too. Some mathematical stuff. So what is this force? This green arrow. Um, no space there, so I'm going to write it down here a little bit. This will be F2 sine theta 2. If you forgot your triangle stuff, maybe it's good to practice resolving some forces here. So if this is theta 2, this is F2, go and find what is this. Opposite, wow, this, this is a very interesting triangle. Opposite against hypotenuse, sine. All sine, all, everybody sine. So at the end of the day, this is also right angle to the distance 2. Now to find moment, yeah, we do the last step. Okay, so now we want to find the total moment, right? So we do the net moment. So all the clockwise plus all the anti-clockwise, but there's only one direction here. All these forces are going to push this door in this direction, which is anti-clockwise. So that will be equal to force times perpendicular force times distance. So F1 sine theta acting at this point. Uh, I drew a dot there and that is D1. So that times D1. Any other helping to push the door? Yes, there is one more force. Let us include that also. So this one is F2 sine theta 2. At what distance? Right here. It's pushing at this distance where I mark X. So that's D2. So let's put here D2. Okay, I think we are we already got the answer. So we can go check it out. Now only we go and see the answer. Is there something that has that? D1, F1, sine theta. Okay, so here got a lot of cosine out already. D1, F1, sine theta. Then D2, F2, sine theta. Why is there a minus sign? This is incorrect. They are both helping to rotate anti-clockwise. This is an anti-clockwise. So they all have the same sign. If we define this as positive, both should be positive. That's why I didn't put negative. They are not opposing each other. So hence, the best choice is going to be B for this question. Okay, so that's how you can find moments. Stay calm, remember your force times distance and apply it to every scenario. Okay, well, that's all for this question. Any doubts, comment below. I will see you in the next video.